John Lewis is from Alabama, and he's the chairman of SNCC, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. Almost every civil rights event and confrontation, John Lewis was playing a role throughout the 60s. He is working on strategy, tactics. He's at the very center of the civil rights movement. SNCC had been in Selma since early 1963. King arrives in January 2nd, 1965. And so by the time the world focuses its attention on Selma, students had been organizing and thousands of people had been arrested in Selma for the preceding two years. John Lewis is a part of that. The students of SNCC vote not to participate in the Selma to Montgomery March. They didn't believe in these big stage demonstrations. They thought they were counterproductive. They thought they were more cosmetic. They believed in grassroots organizing. They wanted to organize poor people to take control over the political process. And so John Lewis decided he wanted to march, even though the organization had voted not to march. He said he would march as an individual and not represent the organization. John Lewis was very instrumental in giving the kind of leadership that we felt was needed in order to actually continue our march. And because of his particular leadership, he came and joined our group, that front line of that march. He stays side by side with the SCLC and Martin Luther King for the duration of that campaign. So the victory that, that comes out of the Selma to Montgomery march, that culminating victory, uh, that also includes all of those episodes that occurred beforehand, John Lewis was a part of that.